All right, I want to bring in Dr. Syed Hussein now, the medical director at Hartford Healthcare Urgent Care Center in the Fairfield region. Doctor, thanks so much for being here tonight. Thank you, Ian, for having us um, on your show. Oh, you're welcome. Our pleasure. Well, Doctor, how incredible are stories like this that we just saw in the sense that uh, it may be about the roles that vaccines play in protecting us, especially older adults? This actually is a true story, and it, and I'll tell you right now, with this people uh, showing up and being interviewed on the television, this actually will motivate a lot of people having a story like this, saying that they had come out of the uh, six feet die deep down, coming out of the uh, near death situation, and now they are alive and well. Uh, this actually, you know, makes us believe that there has to be something to be done, and and, and the vaccine is is out there. We all have to uh, kind of uh, go out and get the vaccine. You know, Dr. U.S. Surgeon General uh, Vivek Murthy is asking anyone who's experiencing COVID-19 symptoms to get tested for coronavirus, regardless of their vaccination status. Let's take a listen to what he said. We have seen that many people uh, are actually not getting tested uh, around the country, even though they have symptoms. Many people are thinking, oh, COVID's over. Uh, why do I really need to get tested? So, Doctor, how important is this advice right now, especially since COVID-19 symptoms can often mimic a cold or the flu? You're so true about it, and we have been seeing some cold cases, some sinus infection coming in the walk-ins, and this is our protocol to test them for COVID-19. And a few cases we have been identified as positive, and these are the people who have been vaccinated two or three months before, so there is a chance of uh, breakthrough cases and obviously with the new variant Delta, um, which is surging and is highly contagious. And that's what makes everybody uh, should come up to the walk-ins, to the doctors who get tested, even if they have a normal cold symptoms. Now, what about fully vaccinated people, doctor, who have been exposed to COVID-19, but they don't have symptoms? Should they get tested as well? So if they have a symptoms, I would suggest go to see the doctor. If they don't have a symptoms, I would still suggest you know, the, using the mask, social distancing it, although we are kind of coming out of that deep, dark hole slowly, but I think it's too soon to call it, uh, you know, a win-win situation right now. We still have to do a lot of work. Yeah, you're talking about that, doctor. Let's talk about schools quickly, because at least seven states have now passed legislation that stops districts from requiring vaccinations. You know, in most cases, the laws that people say that people don't have to provide proof of vaccination or not. The CDC has also not taken a firm stance on the issue, but instead the agencies only ask schools to promote vaccines. So doctor, we know there are parents watching tonight who might be hesitant about getting their shot for their child. What would you to say to them if they were in your office? So we have kids coming in the office and the parents and I tell them that these uh, children, uh, they are, are reservoirs. They are reservoirs of the virus. They don't get sick, thankfully, but they go home and pass on to their uh, grandparents and, parent and, uh, and family members who have comorbidity and other issues. So uh, with the recommendation of CDC 12 and above, I highly encourage them to just go and uh, get the vaccine. Um, this is the only way to come out of this um, uh, big dark hole, we, we, say, we can say that. Uh, you know, Dr. Uh, New York Mayor de Blasio today announced that masks are going to be needed in city schools come September. Even though the CDC has said that the students don't need to wear a mask, some districts in New Jersey are also requiring face covering. So a lot of these kids say, look, it's been around for a while. I, I, I don't have a problem wearing the mask. It doesn't affect the way that I learn. So quickly, we know things could vary from district to district, but should they be wearing masks in school when they return to class, in your opinion? In my opinion, I think for the elementary schools, they should have at least masks within the three feet distance and for the older kids in the high schools they behave as adults and they should have at least a six feet of uh, distance with a mask on i still believe that they should continue doing the distancing and wearing the mask all right dr hussein thanks so much for your time and your insight tonight we really appreciate it thank you very much for having us